So, where am I today, folks? I'm on a ferry going from Hull to Rotterdam. some footage of the ferry. It'll be overdubbed from now on because I'll be keeping the volume quiet and I'll overdub the conversation over the top here. This is my wee cabin, this is my wee bed and stuff. Long, long journey from Glasgow down to here. You know, I'm going to try and get something to eat. This is the Sun Lounge up at the very top deck. And there's a bit you can go and get a smoke in that. It's pretty high up, you know. And it's a wee bit open to the elements, so it can get chilly as well. But when it's nice, you can sit inside and have a drink or whatever. I don't drink, that's a grand piano. Security let me play it. I had three wee shots on it. There was nobody about it, it was about six in the morning I was playing it. This is a view for the, up on the sun deck outside. A view of the coast and stuff. It was a lovely night when we left. A wee bit choppy through the night but nothing worry about it settled down and get a couple of hours sleep. And it was a good crossing. Before we left there was a cabaret and a girl sang you do it best when you do not when you do it no you do it best when you say nothing at all. Aye, but I can't let you see it because of copyright issues and don't want struck. But she was a good wee singer. So then I went back up to the Sun Lounge, which is outside and had a wee smoke and we left for Rotterdam. Again that was the evening as we left. Hull down in England. I wasn't drinking or anything, I didn't feel like a drink, so I didn't bother. So, folks, I went my wee tour about the ferry and I'll say he's a uh, YouTube the whole to Rotterdam ferry and you'll see what it's all about. Uh, I think it's called Ride the Hull. It's a ship I'm on. It's pretty smooth sailing. You know what I mean? It's just going to rock me to sleep because I've not slept. I didn't sleep the night before. I left for Glasgow to get to Hull to Newman on my way to Rotterdam for Amsterdam. I'm really tired. I had some to eat. I had a hot dog and chips, a wee bit of roast beef and a Yorkshire pudding, a wee glass of coke. I seen a wee bit of a young lady singing an ABBA song. I don't know if I can include it, but because I caught the right or whatever, it could ruin the whole uploads. You know. But for anybody with a passport, that's wanting to go a wee couple of days away, can't a bar it would be a good deal. Bar he travel on the boat down. You know, you can do your hand nights or 
that I can do is have that around. Let's kill off the kill wee boat. All the staff are excellent, man. They, they really make you feel good. You know, but I want to go because I need to get to sleep. I'm totally shattered. I'll be up at 7 o'clock tomorrow. 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. That's when the captain comes over to Tannoy. Amsterdam and I'll get some of our footage in for the seas again. Bye bye. Good morning folks, it's a uh, quarter past four in the morning on board uh, bound for Rotterdam as I said and I'm just going to go and get another piece of footage in the ship as I wander around, see as it's just after four in the morning, it should be quiet. I think I'll show you as my post. So this is a kind of ball way outside my cabin. And there's cabins all over the place. And they're pretty spacious inside, they're alright for space. So I'll just take you on a wee wander around the ship. Now this is at about four and five in the morning, remember, so everybody's away to their bed and hung over for partying, but I'm just stopped because I went to bed not long after I'd got on board because I was a bit shattered. But here's your selection of confectionery out of the machines and Toy machines for the kids. It's geared towards the family, these cruises, as you can see with the wee toy things. You know. And there's a, a wee amusements where, again, wee figures and machines, like these toy machines. I was tempted to take a wee shot on a motorbike one or a jet ski or whatever, but I think we'll be a bit too old for that. So then going through we get into the... Uh, I think it's the entertainment bar. See, there's an entertainment bar and an Irish bar. This, this is the entertainment bar, so if you look down, you see the... the two levels, the upper level, where it's tables and chairs and down the stair where it's cotton. It's uh, I think that's the Irish bar in there. But down the stair for here is a stage where there's acts every night that the ship cruises, you know. So moving on through here, we've got another bar, I think that's the same Irish one, and we've got the, the game thing, the pop I think you call that, I remember I used to love that as a wane, and then we head around here, I'm sure uh, reception's here eventually, but anyway, there's Mayor, confectionery machines unless that's the same ones and I've walked around the place and come back out I don't know, I can't remember but they're card operated you just pick what you want put in a number and put your card on it this is a wee bit for the kids a wee ones a wee nursery soft play area and this is a duty free over there and that's a lift and that's a wee coaster over in the corner just the same as the ones you get set up everywhere so I'll we'll give you a look at the prices of the duty free you drink sorry but the tobacco and the cigars especially are not much of a saving at all but the the drink's up to 50% half, which is good for the drinkers out here, but I don't 
kind of like any of their stuff, you know. So I'll be getting out of this and won't be buying any drink. Then, where did I go? Aye, I'll never be able to get a duty free. And there was gifts in the windy. And in the wall, mounted gifts, you know, like uh, watches and uh, was it watches? I can't remember. I'll take you in and show you. That's a drink. A drink was averaging fifty percent half on most things. Put it in here. I've got the display cabinets with the watches and stuff and the aftershaves and perfumes and sunglasses and drinking that, you know, different stuff. Not particularly interested in any of it. So this is me getting extremely confused with the lift and how they worked and where it was going. It's pretty hard for me to comprehend stuff at times. But I think I went in this one and I came out uh, thinking I was going where I was going only to get back in and try and get to somewhere else I was wanting to go. You know, can be a bit mental. A bit of amaze on us, on his, his boats, you know. But that's where the carbons are again. So it goes back in the left, I think. about, you know, maybe there was a, a incident where somebody was locked in or couldn't get out and it was pretty severe, you know. So this is a sun deck and this is a, a wheel and that turned it in my favour because I treat these wheels like a wheel of fortune in the tarot, you know. So I just gave them a wee turn. Sorry folks, that was a captain with an announcement. Uh, so I'm back up on a Sunday again and this is the kind of main bit if you like. This is where all the revelers come. But I just wait it's quiet and then get a wee shot on the piano. And it was particularly good. I must say so myself, it was really good. A uh, full-sized classical piano and just me and my freedom to play it. I really enjoyed it. Highly in my holiday. But what I really enjoyed the most, you know, Amsterdam and the trip was one thing, but getting to play the piano really made it, you know. This is where you go through the sun lounge if you want a good bit of smoke. As you know, you just can't smoke inside anywhere, so you can sit in a wee open air. Got a shielding over the top of it, but it's Baltic, it's freezing, you know, especially at night or early in the morning. So I got my wee smoke and just rocked with the waves of the ship nice and gently along 
and this is in the morning. This is us just approaching uh, Rotterdam. The sun's coming up again. I'm looking like a good day, but no cracking days you'll find out for a number of reasons for myself, you know. So that was it. And the wind was awful blowy as well. So, we left the ferry, we're back on the bus and we're heading towards Amsterdam. This is some of the kind of motorway scene, industrial, and kind of wee tunnel and stuff on route to Amsterdam. I didn't want to take too much footage yet because it's all much of yeah, muchness after a while looking at roads and trees and houses and that, you know. So I just travelled along. And this is me in Amsterdam, that central station, you know. And I'm just outside. Just doing a V360 that I like today to show. And I was graced by a bit of sun at that point in the day, just to show Amsterdam in a certain light, you know. So as you just seen there, I'm in Amsterdam, uh, Central, and uh, there's, there's no sort of organisation, you know what I mean? They're not, you know, taking you around and showing you places and toilets and where to eat and stuff. You just got to kind of find your own way, you know? It's always a bit too much for me. There are too many people, you know, I'm not comfortable here, you know? <laughs> Uh, where we get dropped off the bus, you've got to find the way back as well before a quarter they leave you. You know, it's a kind of ultimatum. And currently, I'm needing a toilet. Uh, I was trying to find a three mobile shop as well because it seems I'd reached my limit, but I didn't. You know what I mean? They're always doing that to me, so I'm going to need to look into that. It's the most inopportune times of the day as well, you know. But, uh, I'll just switch around and show you exactly where I'm sitting just now. I'll still make the most of it, but, you know. Now, I'm sitting and I'm looking round, right, I was kind of... When I we got off a tour bus and we were walking and stuff, it was like a big herd of people and it was awful confusing to me. But I just sat and I happened upon a tour guide that was talking to somebody who was taking round to show him and I asked him could I join him to show me about Amsterdam. The guy was fascinating with all his facts and stuff and everything they knew, you know. That guy's taking that bit personal, I think the whole world knows who he is. You know, the guy walked by here. But anyway, I get a guy's name is Matt and that's Marie. Marie's from America and Matt was from Amsterdam, he's sale. So we get round and he was telling us a lot of facts and stuff and that small building there is a house and it's based on taxes. You used to be taxed per metre for the length of your house. And then he goes on to tell us about the the wealth of Amsterdam and how it was built and the three X's that are the curses or the, the, the things that plagued Amsterdam in the years gone by. I remember two. One was the... Uh, what do you call it? The plague with the rats and the other one was a flood. So this is when it all turned pretty scary for me. I'm in Amsterdam and I was heading back 
and the rain came on and I couldn't find where I get dropped off and I began to panic and thought I'd have to get a Euro tunnel and a flight back and everything because I couldn't meet my boat again. Fortunately, the young lassie that was on the boat on the way there found me. Well, never found me, we bumped into each other and she kind of led me back to the bus. So this is me back on the bus and it was raining. That's where we're leaving. And as we pull out of Amsterdam, it's kind of rainy. But Matt was telling me that this weekend is a celebration called the King's Day. And it's when every citizen in Amsterdam gets to do what they like. It's a celebration, you know. There's a couple of places we went as well, and it was called a rebel place or a, a what, what would you call another thing for a rebel? I don't know, but a defiance square or something where you had to simplify your defiance. So we all took a picture with his guinea middle finger, you know. But this is a, a, the, what do you call it, windmills here. Now, Matt also said that Holland had the biggest fleet in the world of ships, battleships or warships back in the day. And their advantage was that they converted the, uh, what do you call the things, the windmills, into big saws. That's how they could cut the wood to make the boats to conquer the seas of the world, you know. That's how they were formidable back in the day. And he also say that things used to be written on sticks, deeds, right? Deeds and investments and agreements, and that's where the word stocks come from. Stocks and investments. And with that, folks, I'll let you go. Thanks for your time. So that concludes the journey, folks, a trip to Amsterdam, from Port Glasgow to Amsterdam. And with the day all again, probably not. It's too long, and I'm getting too old. You know, certain functions kick in at an age where you need a toilet, your legs get sore, all this kind of stuff, you know. Uh, it was a good wee journey. And I'll see you again on Tour Gate Inverfleet.